everyone! I'm here today with my weekly favorites. These are, if you don't know, products that I've been loving this week. My first favorite is obviously my road trip that I just got back on. I had so much fun. We went with family, well, my family. So my sister, her uh, boyfriend Chris, Ethan, and my mom and my dad, and we drove up to Westport, Washington. Spent a couple days there with my grandma and my grandpa and my aunt. And then I got to leave a little early, go to Portland, visit with a friend of mine, take Ethan to the zoo, which was so much fun. And I had a really awesome subscriber who actually was at the zoo the same day, Amanda. Hey girl. Uh, she found me at the zoo and then we hung out for a little bit. And then the next day we, I did a meetup, which was really, really fun. Thank you to all the girls that came to that. I know it was super last minute. A lot of you couldn't make it because I kept changing it and it was the opposite side of town. But let me tell you, there is a very, 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 very good chance. I will be back to Portland soon. Um, hopefully be traveling to Portland quite often. So um, I'll definitely do another meetup there and it will be a lot better planned. And I was thinking maybe doing it at a mall or maybe if you like, are in the Portland area and you know of any fun places where we can maybe do dinner or drinks, I think that would be fun. As much as I love doing makeup shopping, it's really hard to interact with you guys. And if I'm gonna do a meetup, I wanna be able to chit chat and have all of us get to know each other better. So I thought if we went somewhere where they had drinks or somewhere where we could all sit down and talk, that would be super fun. So hopefully in the next couple months, I will um, be able to plan another one in the Portland area. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but it was just super fun and I love Portland. I left a piece of my heart there in Portland and I cannot wait to go back. So besides going to Portland, I had some other favorites as well. Um, the first is I, when I packed, I brought a lot of little travel size things because I didn't want to bring a ton of stuff. Uh, one of the things I brought was the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I have the full size of this and I just haven't really used it much because I had other primers I wanted to use up prior to busting out the expensive one, but I did have this travel size sample. So I decided to bring that and I absolutely love it. It is a very thin, almost kind of lotion-y consistency type primer. I thought that it gave me a white cast when I used it before, but this time I didn't seem to have any issues with it. It just makes my makeup go on really, really smooth. I love the way it makes my skin feel. It kind of fills in pores. I just really like it. So this is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Love it, it was definitely a favorite. Now, when I traveled, I did bring my Smashbox Studio Skin because I want to just finish that up. My skin and that foundation like in Portland did not mix well. So anyways, when I got back, I decided to kind of switch out my foundations because I was getting really tired of the ones I was using. So I pulled out my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua foundation. I have it in 30 beige and 40 beige. 30 is too light right now with self tanner and 40 is too dark. So I just mix the two together. It's what I'm wearing today. I love it. I apply it with a Makeup Geek stippling foundation stippling brush. I absolutely love the way it applies. It lasts all day. It's light on the skin, but still gives good coverage. So I love this foundation. I'm probably gonna be using this for the next, um, I don't know, a couple weeks because it's a high-end foundation. I don't want it to go bad, and I do really like it. So this was definitely a favorite for this week. Now, when I went to my meetup, we went to Ulta, and I picked up this Tarte palette. This is the Rainforest After Dark palette. I love this. Um, I'm wearing this blush that is um, in this palette today. It's so beautiful. It's just a really nice kind of mid-tone pink. Oh, well, it's on my cheek so you can see it. Really beautiful. It has the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, which I love, a beautiful champagne highlight, and I love these shadows. So a lot of the trip, I actually put you know, these two matte brown colors in my crease. I put the gold on my lid, and then I took the dark purple and the dark brown and kind of smoked that in the outer V area and it was beautiful. There's like a little bit of a closer look on that. If you want to see a tutorial for it, I will do a tutorial because I really love the way it turned out using this palette. It's absolutely beautiful. The only thing it's missing is like a matte cream shade, but I did bring my Urban Decay Naked Basics, so that worked. But I love this. You'll also see it in the haul from the other stuff that I got there. The last thing is this lip color or this lip pencil. It's from Bite Beauty. It's in violet. It's what's on my lips. I can't stop wearing it. It's like the perfect purpley pink lip color. I just love it so much. I can't, I honestly can't stop wearing it. So um, I've used quite a bit of it too. I mean, it has a little bit of a point when you first um, get it. And I, I mean, there's still a lot of product left, but I really like this. Out of all the Bite products, these lip pencils are my favorite. I keep buying the lipsticks and I'm just not crazy. I feel like they don't sit on my lips well. I feel like they kind of separate and I don't know. I don't love the lipsticks. I know a lot of people do, but the lip pencils I really, really like. And then my, my one fail is the Jordana Fabuliner. I don't know what it is, but the last four or five Jordana Fabuliners I've bought have been horrible. I don't know if they've reformulated it. I'm not too sure what the issue is. 
the um, three of them have been very like gray, like not very black. And then this one is just very stiff. So the, the Jordana family liners I used to use, you could, you know, put it right where you want your wing and then drag it across and it kind of had a little bit of flex to it so that you could kind of hold it and just do one solid motion. This is the stiffest. It's so stiff. It hurts my eye to try to, you know, to try to do the same motion I used to be able to do with this Jordana Fabu liner. I don't know. I don't know if they've done something different. Um, I've tried purchasing at Kmart and at Walgreens in different locations. Um, this one I picked up in Salem, Oregon, and it's the same thing. It's super stiff. So I kept trying to put it on my hand and flex it a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't work. So I'm kind of losing all hope on my Jordana Fabu liners because I've not had a good one um, out of the last five that I've had. So major bummer, but that was my fail. And then another favorite is this necklace. This is from Stella and Dot. I know a lot of my friends are um, featuring Stella and Dot products and my friend Sarah or the Beauty Buzz Hub is a Stella and Dot rep. And so um, she asked me if I'd like to host a Stella and Dot party. I'm like, of course. Mine started a while ago, but I was really bad at remembering to mention it and I didn't have any Stella and Dot pieces to be able to show you. So this is a gorgeous piece. I absolutely love it. It's like multi-chain all gold. I love how chunky it is. It looks cute with just like a simple white tank top. I'm just wearing a simple white tank top. This one is called the Sutton Necklace in gold. I love it. I also got this Era one and it's called, let me get the right name for it, On The Mark. It's a cute little, very simple gold chain with an arrow. I'll insert her picture or I'll link it down below because every time I try to show it on the screen, the gold is reflecting in the light. But you guys know I have my arrow tattoo, so anything arrows, I'm just obsessed with. So I got the arrow one and then this one and I'll have the party linked down below so you can just click on the link. I also have a little bit of a wish list as far as like some of the other products I like. So if you're interested in seeing kind of what jewelry taste I have or kind of what I like from the website, you can click the link down below and see that as well. So I hope you guys are all having a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye!